you know, we only want to report it from yeah, it's fine, we'll do that. So right now it is recording, okay? So you click here and it's still good. So welcome everyone. Um, welcome to my personal living room. It's really fun to see all of the names, people, people joining all of the time. Um, I think this is the most social action I've had since we all got locked down. My name is Aliza, and I am here from ORCAM. I'm the area sales manager for most of the Midwest. And I'm also here with Moti Atia, who is the regional manager for everything east of the Mississippi. He just waved. And I'm also here, very excitedly here, with Patrick Andrade and Michelle Theo. Michelle, how do I say your last name? Theoki. Theoki, thank you, um, from the Chicago Lighthouse. And we are really excited today to introduce to you ORCAM's latest and greatest wonderful new product, the ORCAM Read. I'm going to ask Patrick um, to speak now for the Chicago Lighthouse and introduce your organization and say, say a little something. Here we are. <laughs> Hi, rejoining. We don't see the presentation. My mistake. Here we go. Internet gave out on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to do when you have five different people on the same internet, same house. <laughs> We're all home. Yeah. And some of them are watching Netflix. <laughs> Correct. Okay. So, allow you to introduce our, us, Lisa. So, yes. So, this is Patrick and Michelle, and they're with the Chicago Lighthouse. And actually, I want to say something quickly, just a couple of housekeeping items. We are going to have um, time for questions and answers at the end. And also, on the last slide, um, we are going to give you our information so you will be able to easily get a hold of of us um, at ORCAM. You'll be able to get a hold of Patrick and Michelle at the Lighthouse and we are all connected every day. So if you get one of us, you get all of us. Um, and now, Patrick, please talk about yourself and the Lighthouse. Okay, thank you. So let's go to the next slide. Here we go. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your time with us today. My name is Patrick Andrade, and I'm the Assistive Technology Manager at the Chicago Lighthouse. And so what this means is that I work with clients by phone, um, email, or in person with the objective of finding tools that are worthy of adding to their tool belt, um, all of which will work to provide the user with uh, assistance or adaptivity in their everyday life. And so one of these tools um, is the ORCAM. And I found my way into this role actually after graduating from college with a degree in computer science um, while working my summers as an intern at the Chicago Lighthouse um, in the youth transitions and the IT department. Um, and so although I spent the majority of my college career one-on-one um, -on -one with a computer, I was really looking forward to getting back to being one-on-one -on -one with people and allow, uh, the timing allowed for that to become possible. And so to give you a little bit of information about the Lighthouse, um, it was established in 1906 as uh, a single location in Chicago. And today has two locations in the Chicagoland area. And we have a mission of providing comprehensive vision rehabilitation um, and services for those who are blind, visually impaired, multi-disabled, or are veterans. Um, and our nonprofit has um, today over 40 programs and one of which is the Sandy Forsyth Assistive Technology Center. Um, and this center is uh, a resource utilized by people across the country and the world uh, who are seeking assistance in matters of accessibility and technology for their everyday living. And besides myself, um, within the center, we have Noreen Costello, who's our Assistive Technology Specialist, Andre Asbury, our Retail Sales Lead, Melissa Wittenberg, um, the Director of Chicago Lighthouse North, our second location, 
um, and Michelle Fioki, the manager of our retail operations and rehabilitation services. And so part of our work includes creating partnerships to provide our employees, our patients and our clients um, with the best assistive technology out there. Uh, this brings me to where I am today, talking to um, you with ORCAM, um, Aliza and Moti. Uh, and a fun fact, as it stands, the Chicago Lighthouse houses the only two ORCAM kiosks in the world, um, one of which you can see on the lower right um, in the photo on the slide. And uh, these kiosks, back when we were open, allowed us to sit face to face and talk about how an ORCAM device can be beneficial uh, for, your, for you um, at your work, at your home, at school, or even while you're out. All right, and I'll hand it back to Elisa to talk to you some more about ORCAM itself. Okay, so I just want to give you a little bit of background on our company. Some of you are familiar with ORCAM. Some of you have been with us from the beginning and some of you may be just learning about us right now. So ORCAM Technologies was founded in 2010. Um, we started doing beta testing with our first device, the ORCAM MyEye in 2013. In 2015, we launched our very first device, the ORCAM MyEye. The ORCAM MyEye had a base unit that housed the computer and the battery. It was about as big as a cell phone. It was attached to a wire that was attached to the camera that sat on your glasses. And that device at the time was the, the only thing on the market um, like it. And um, I just wanna jump ahead and tell you where we are today in 2020. We have the ORCAM MyEye, the ORCAM MyEye Pro. The device is about as big as your thumb. There's no base unit. And we just, um, ironically, as soon as we all got lo lo locked down, launched our newest device that we're talking to you about today, the ORCAM Read. Um, the reason I wanted to give you this history is because I really want to touch on the, the strength of the company and the commitment um, to development. Our company, ORCAM, is very, very committed to developing and always being able to bring you the best and, and really staying on top of the market. And we didn't slow down during this time. Um, our, our engineers were all sent home to their homes in Israel and, and told to keep working. So we kept on working on it. They kept on working on it and we have launched this new product today. So assistive technology is very personal. We, like Patrick said, we need a lot of tools in our toolbox. We all need to be able to thrive no matter what is going on. Um, so for assistive technology, you might need one, two, three things. You might say, okay, I already have an ORCAM my eye too. Why do I need the ORCAM read? You may never have heard about the, the My Eye 2. Um, I just want to give you a little personal story. I, I want to talk to you about my father. My father has dyslexia, and it wasn't detected until he was a much older adult when he figured it out himself, and finally he decided to get tested, and they said, yep, you're dyslexic. My father is, is a very successful man. Um, he's done well in business. He's done well in his personal life. He wrote a book. And he struggled. I still see him struggling when he goes to read something today. And I cannot imagine how different it would have been if he would have had this simple tool in his toolbox, this simple tool in his toolbox um, to make things easier. Um, so without, without um, talking any more about what we're going to talk about, we want to introduce you to the ORCAM read. So Patrick is gonna give you a demo in a minute and I just wanna quickly go through what you're gonna see so that you know what you're watching for. Um, the ORCAM read is an AI driven smart camera. It instantly reads printed text off of any surface. It will read to you books, newspapers, computer screens, menus, PowerPoints, all of it. Um, it has it has a speaker, so it will talk out loud. It also has, um, 
it has the capability to be able to plug in earbuds or connect um, via Bluetooth. And something that is really amazing about this that is completely different than everything else in the genre is that the OrCam, the OrCam read is going to be able to read you an entire page. So you don't have to go line by line. You don't have to wait for something to pop on a computer screen. You can capture an entire page of text or a specific piece of text with this little device. Who is it for? So I, this, this page challenges me because I, I would love to say what we're seeing on this page is who it's for, students and adults with reading disabilities. Students in school, adults for work or pleasure reading, people who have reading fatigue, people who have mild levels of visual impairment. What I have learned working, working with OrCam and working with our clients is that we never know this answer until we try it with people. So I was told by a friend recently who was totally blind. Um, I said, oh, you want to stick with the my eye too. And he said, Aliza, don't underestimate me. Um, so I, I agree with everything on this page and I can't wait to be challenged and find out who it's for, like really who this device is for. Um, so I want to turn this over to Patrick. We're going to stop sharing the screen for a minute and he's going to show you how this works. Hi everyone. Good to see you all again. Um, all right, let's get going. So I'm going to start by turning our device on. And so when I do that, we can see at the bottom, we have a light that starts glowing up and that lets us know that it's getting ready to go. And so before, um, I start using the device. I want to show you how just how simple it is and kind of my favorite things about it. So um, one of my favorite things about it is just how portable it is. To give you um, a reference. It's smaller than the pen I'm currently using. Um, and if I hold up the OrCam My Eye to it, it's about a little, a little um, less than two OrCam My Eyes. Battery is 32% charged. So I should have charged it before this. Um, but that's what it sounds like when it turns on. It lets you know how much charge you have. Um, and so to continue on, it's no bigger than a pen. It is a nice intuitive design with only four buttons. And so that's my next favorite thing about it is how simple it is to use. So starting from the front, it's flat and that's where the camera is. And so you know that you could line it up directly with a sheet of paper or a flat surface if you're trying to read something that's flat. Um, the first button, the button that you need to use the most is the trigger button. And so that's a circular button. If I follow my finger backwards towards the back of the device, I find a plus button, which is the volume button. If I turn it up, I hear that I've reached the maximum volume. I can turn it down by finding my next button right behind the plus button, which is volume down. Volume down. Volume down. Following back, I'll feel these four dots. These dots are for the charging. Um, and then right behind it is the power button. That's the last button you need to use. If I give it a push, press again to shut down. it's saying that it's suspending. If I wanna shut it down, I could have pressed again. Let me wake it up. There we go. So here's the nice OrCam label on the other side. Now, right behind the power button, we have our charging port. It's a USB-C charging port, which is great because that means that there's no incorrect way to put your charger inside. So there's no way to break this device just by putting your charger in. Behind that, we have our, our, um, our little clip for hanging your lanyard on for safekeeping. Um, the lanyard comes inside the box, just like it does with your OrCam My Eye 2. Um, and then lastly, we have the port for um, your headphones. And so headphones also come in the box and can be plugged right in. Additionally, like Elisa said, it can also be connected to a Bluetooth speaker. So if you want to listen to a book or out loud um, while reading along, I know some people 
uh, say, um, like Elise's father, even if he does have dyslexia, he might want to read along with the ORCAM as it's reading to him. Um, so yeah, just to go back over the device, it's only four buttons. Um, each button is extremely pronounced, which is great. And um, it's super simple to take photos of printed text. So I'm going to show you the two types of modes that we have for that. And so the two modes are the cursor or the pointer mode, I call it uh, the pointer mode, or the full box, um, full page mode. So I'll show you what those look like. So here I've got the full box. Let's see. to moderate low vision, reading fatigue or reading difficulties, including dyslexia. Trigger so if I wanted to stop it, I give the trigger button another push. Now let's try the pointer. You'll see it's a bit different because it's more direct. So Revolutionary handheld day I reader. there I just took the title or cam read and it read me the title. Last on the other page, I took the full box. Let's try it again. And it started reading all of the text that was on that page. If I want to pause it, I can give it a double tap and pick back up right where it left off. And that's really as complex as it gets. The most complicated part is pausing it, which is pretty nice and funny. Um, so that's about it for how to use it. Um, and I'll leave it back to you, Elisa, to talk a little bit more about the device. OK. Do you want to put the PowerPoint back up? Yes. OK. Okay, so first, um, thank you, Patrick. Um, it really is as simple and as accurate as you just saw him saw him use. Um, it really doesn't take training. It's that simple. So I just want to I just want to go over some of these features, even though you guys have already heard it. Um, most important to me is that it's easy to use. It is. It's so easy. Um, it reads instantly, so there's no pause. You don't have to wait. Um, it's, it's immediate. It works everywhere. It's tiny. It's wireless. It doesn't require an internet connection, so it's private. You can be in a testing setting. You can be in a legal setting. You can be in a basement that doesn't get any reception, or you can be in a home that has everybody watching Netflix and trying to work, like probably a lot of our homes right now. Um, it captures a full page, and that is huge. It will capture as much or as little of a page as you want it to, and it's portable. It goes with you. Um, and one so, thing I didn't, I forgot to mention was that it can even be used on a computer screen. So with the screen that I'm sharing with you right now, I can take a picture. Unlike all other devices, so it started reading the text. Read under full page capture. And screens at once. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> no, thank you. That's, <laughs> that's what we do <laughs> when we have important information. So any text on any surface. Um, um, maybe the next page I think has the specs if you just want to take a quick peek. It's very, very light. As light as a pen, if not lighter. And the only, th the only difference is it's a bit thicker, but that only makes it better for your grip. And then on the next slide, this slide right here is very important. Privacy. Our, your privacy is so important to us. So we respect and we protect your privacy. We, this device does not record or share videos. None of our devices do. It's a standalone unit. It doesn't send any data to a cloud and it's never collected by OrCam. It is only available for your personal use. So it's completely private. Um, 
and we will keep it that way. All right. Okay, so now we want to open this up for questions. After the questions, we're gonna we're going to show you how to get a hold of us um, if more questions come up, and and we are going to ask Michelle to monitor to kind of shout out the questions for us. I want to let everyone know that there is a question and answer box towards the bottom of your screen on Zoom. So you can type in any sort of questions and we'll do our best to answer any things. Um, so the first one um, is, does it stream to Bluetooth enabled hearing aids? It's important for hearing impaired who are also sight impaired or, or blind. Great Multi, I'm going to let you answer that one. They like me to answer this question. Um, so yes, it can connect to Bluetooth, but uh, hearing aids Bluetooth is not the real Bluetooth. It's a special protocol they designed to save uh, power, save energy, so their battery would last longer. Uh, so to connect it to hearing aids, uh, you will need what they call in that world, they call it streamer, a device that converts their uh, Bluetooth to our regular Bluetooth format. I'd like to ask about price. Great, great question. Uh, so it is normally um, 1,990, uh, but for the month of May, we're actually having it for $1,906 uh, to celebrate the founding year of the Chicago Lighthouse. Okay. And Let me type that in as well. Uh, uh, follow up to our hearing aids question. If you already have a streamer for the hearing aids, would it work with that? Um, it is supposed to work. Okay. It is supposed to work. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, I was thinking about getting an OrCam My i2 Pro and not sure which one to get. Which would you recommend? So between the two, I think she is asking. So Jacqueline, for for that, I think if you can call call myself or Patrick, um, I think we want to, we really want to ask you a lot of questions and try and find the best fit for you. So we'll have our information. Um, we'll have our information up very shortly. Okay. Um, and it looks like Michelle Richards is asking a question about trading in a previous or cam towards the, uh, this new device. Um, I'm going to say that that's probably also a follow up to call direct to Patrick or Eliza, and we'll do our best to accommodate that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what are the major differences between the read and normal OrCam? So the OrCam read is really meant to, to just read. The normal OrCam you wear on a, on a pair of glasses. It's mounted on a pair of glasses and it follows your gaze. It has a lot more going on inside of the device. So it's gonna do a lot more for you than the OrCam read. Um, the OrCam read, you hold it and you point it and it reads it to you. It's, it's the same high technology, but it's very simple. Yeah. I also see a question from Liz Jacobson in the chat. So if a blind person was using this, how would they be able to see where to put the box to capture the page? And so this uh, touches back to um, what Eliza was talking about when we had said, who is this device for? So uh, it's mostly for people who um, are partially sighted just because of the fact that you are using um, a sighted guide to figure out where you're getting your text read from, such as the laser, um, the laser box or the laser pointer. But just as our friend um, John uh, our friend John had said to us, uh, don't underestimate him. Um, he's fully blind and uh, Elisa had given him the device and he was 
able to get what he needed read back to him with ease. And so that might not be the case for everyone, but we don't want to evaluate whether or not it works for you. We want you to be able to evaluate whether it works for yourself. Um, and so if you're concerned about purchasing um, and making a commitment like that, you can definitely give us a call and we can talk with you about um, the return policy. The return policy is um, 30 days from when it gets delivered to you. Um, and yeah, so like I said, we don't want to be the judge um, on whether the device can work for you and whether you'd be able to figure out where, uh, where to put the box to capture the page. But um, that said, the My i 2 is designed for people um, who are totally blind to be able to use because of the fact that it rests on your glasses. So it gives you the line of sight that's required to be able to find your text. Feel free to chat if that didn't answer your question enough um, or give me a call. Okay. There is a question here about distance reading, such as signs. Does this device work for distance reading? So the, the answer is yes. I like to think of the device and all of our devices as having 20-20 vision. So if you can see it with 2020 vision and you can find where the text is, then the device can the device can read it. So you can walk into a coffee shop when you can walk into a coffee shop again. And you can you can point at the sign and it will read it to you. That's that it won't read symbols. So if it's a a winding road sign. <laughs> you need text. Very important. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Do we have any more questions? One on the chat, uh, but I don't understand. I work. So we did check. Can you train it to do facial recognition like the my eye? Uh, so the answer to that is no. So this device only does reading um, similar to the my reader uh, where uh, it doesn't have those extra features of the OrCam my eye. This device is just for reading. Okay. So if we don't have any more questions, um, I, we're going to share our information on the screen. I'm also going to read it out loud. Um, I'll read it out loud twice if people need to write it down. So to get a hold of Patrick at the Chicago Lighthouse, he is the Assistive Technology Manager. His email is Patrick. P A T R I C K dot Andrade A N like Nancy D R A D E at Chicago Lighthouse dot org. Chicago Lighthouse is all one word. So it's Patrick dot Andrade at Chicago Lighthouse dot org. His phone number is 312-997-3649. Again, 312-997-3649. To get a hold of me, my name is Eliza, and my email is my first and last name. It's Eliza, A-L-I-Z-A dot Olenek, O L. E N I C K at orcam.com. And my phone number is 612 940 9037. You can call either of us or both of us, and we will be really happy to, to talk to you. Um, we also 
if you decide this is a device for you or if you already have a My I2 or you want to purchase a My I2, um, we really want to hear your stories. We want to hear your thoughts. We want to hear what you're doing with it. Um, so wherever you are in this process, please stay in touch with us. And we want to thank you so much for being here. Um, I saw there was one more question. Um, I answered that. Oh, Moti answered that. Thank you, Moti. So I, I just want to say thank you so much for taking some time today. And we really hope to hear from you. Uh, thank you, everyone. Please email, can you please email us this contact information? Um, we, what I can do is I can send out a follow-up email um, from the Chicago Lighthouse uh, listing how you can contact me for more information about the, my, the ORCAM read. So it'll be from the same address that you got this invite. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.